morning, but a da. Uh, yeah, just come off the phone. Off. Oh. Uh, so I had a, a Facebook message and um, literally somebody just wanted to, you know, have a bit of a chat. And uh, yeah, so I spoke to this farmer. I don't know him personally, but um, fucking hell, man, I tell you, when, when you really think about what's going on and when you listen to these stories you start to realize how absolutely knackered we are as an in industry um guy's farming he's got a part-time job he's got a rented farm um doesn't see a future for his children and you know literally he's just gonna get out and look for a full-time job i'm thinking how many more of these people are there if this Labour, Welsh government get their way, you know, there'll be 5,500 jobs lost in the Welsh agricultural sector. That's twice as many people as they'll be losing in Tata. Twice as many, you know. So much livestock coming out of the equation. So many other people losing their jobs. Um... And be honest with you, I just didn't have a, an answer to the to the guy. You know, what what can you tell somebody? Okay, we're still under consultation. You know, there's still time for change. But I, I, you know, I'm thinking, fucking hell, man. It's just like a shit show. It's an absolute shit show. What these people are doing to small family farms. It's our language. It's our culture. It's our way of life. And we feed people. And yeah, fucking hell, we're not perfect by a long way. And I, and I don't, you know, claim to be, but the majority of people I know love what they do and they want a future for their children doing this. And I just hope to God that the people down in the assembly will listen to some of these stories and try to understand how absolutely desperate these families are to try and save their homes, their livelihoods and the future for their children to be farming on this land.